So my story is a little bit unique. I'll share that first before I get into those CDC numbers. But Remember, we have I only have a have certain a amount of time, Jed, if you want to get everything yeah, in. I have, right. So I want, to, I want to let people know why I'm not there. Jedediah Abila returned to the VIEW panel on Tuesday to discuss why she isn't vaccinated. Now, she was supposed to be in studio, but ABC now has a strict policy that anyone entering an ABC studio or facility has to be vaccinated. So she explained why she isn't. I have a medical exemption to the vaccine that's been written by my infectious disease vaccinated specialist in New York City that's been co-signed by three other doctors. I'm not a candidate for this vaccine. I also have sky-high, multi-tiered, multifaceted natural immunity, very, very high, that has also been proven, it has been shown, and it is substantiated by letters from these doctors. So for me, personally, this vaccine poses a greater risk than a benefit. I'm also not a risk to any of you. I know there's been a lot of debate about that, but I have these doctors who've gone on record with that as well. So my point about all of this is that I am not anti-vax. What I really want is for people to make these decisions for themselves. I want every one of you to sit with your family members, to sit with your trusted doctors, and to say, what is the best decision for me? However, I do oppose mandates. I oppose them on the fact that, let's look at the science. This is a vaccine that was created to prevent severity of disease and to prevent hospitalizations. Now, we can have a whole debate on that in itself, but the vaccine does not prevent you from getting COVID and does not prevent you from transmitting COVID. Oh, my COVID. goodness. All right, we'll get back to that in a second. But yeah, everything that Jedediah is saying is true. Like getting the vaccine doesn't prevent you from getting the virus. You can still be a carrier of the virus. It just reduces the severity of your reaction to the virus. So yeah, you can still get the virus if you have the vaccine. Now, Jedediah, if she has a legitimate medical exemption to not getting the vaccine, and she says that doctors have signed off on that, then yeah, she shouldn't get the vaccine. But the ladies of The View did not want to hear that. Come on, no, you've been at Fox TV you too have long. To enjoy. You don't have to listen to me on that. You don't have to listen to me. You can listen to the director of the CDC. You can look at the CDC's website. I'm not opposed to the vaccine, you know, but I Jen, am opposed to the mandate 100% on the grounds of science. 762,000 people have died from COVID, including right. Manny's in-laws. And I just, we've been friends a long time, but I just, uh, Manny's parents, I just don't understand why you would choose to prioritize your personal freedom over health and safety of others. And so I just, I just, I just so really again, don't think that we again, should allow Sonny, this kind of misinformation. Again. Um, on, Again, on Sonny, our I don't. This should sound Surgeon very. So, this should sound very familiar to you, Jed. This should sound very familiar to you. We got to go to break, and so I have to say, <laughs> uh, thanks to Jed Follow and Diane Wheeler, people. you Follow can buy signs. Jed. Yeah, I'm not sure why the ladies jumped all over uh, Jedediah because everything that she was saying was true. Now, yesterday, Jedediah was on the first and reacted to that view appearance. I, I think it's really interesting that a lot of these people have been offended by the idea of freedom. Me saying that I want you to make that decision for yourself bothers them. It really gets under their skin. They would rather have government make that decision. They'd rather have a corporate bureaucrat make that decision. Listen, if they want to live in a world like that, hey, they can come to New York City. They can live, you know, under the likes of Bill de Blasio. That's great for them. I'm not living like that, which is why I'm heading to the great state of Texas. But more power to them if that's the life they want. Just don't try to inflict that kind of life on me or my child. So, yeah, Jedediah is 100% right that the vaccine doesn't prevent you from getting the virus. You can still be a carrier of it, but it's just going to reduce the severity of your reaction to it. Like, if I'm in a room with someone who is unvaccinated, I'm not that worried because I could be carrying the virus and pass it to them and they're going to be the one that's screwed. Getting the virus is actually a selfish thing in a way because I could have the virus, but it's not really going to affect me, but it might affect you that is unvaccinated. Like, I'm not worried about walking into a room that's full of unvaccinated people because reality is I'm probably going to be fine. You're going to be screwed if you're unvaccinated. Now, here's the issue that I have, and Jedediah mentioned um, inflicting that life on someone else. So if you are going to ignore science and not get the vaccine, because the reality is the people that are dying now are the people that are unvaccinated. Sure, there's a very, very small percentage of people that are vaccinated and are having these new breakthrough cases. That is absolutely true. But reality is most of the people that are dying are unvaccinated. So if you're gonna deny science and not get the vaccine at this point, then I don't think you should be allowed to seek medical treatment or scientific treatment when you then have very bad reaction to the virus later because the reality is the unvaccinated covid patients in hospital now are taking up beds from people that are dealing with cancer or dealing with heart attacks or strokes so if you're going to deny science at this point that's what you're doing and not get the vaccine then why 
at a later date, are you going to turn around and say, oh, I was wrong. I need science to help me out. Sorry, you're making that choice. All the evidence is there to show you that this vaccine could help you. If you don't want to get it, that's fine. That's your, like, that's your personal freedom to not get the vaccine. But then don't inflict that on the healthcare system later that, oops, now I need, now I need help. I don't know why I denied it to begin with, but now I need help. So if you're going to be all in and deny science, then you got to be all in and deny science. That's my thought on it. Let me hear your thoughts. All right, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention, so I'm just going to throw it in there. Do you think this kind of reaction to this segment is Jedediah's ticket back to being on that panel? I know people have thrown her name around as a replacement for Meghan McCain. Do you think all this attention might help Jedediah be back on The View?